going on guys? My name is Trent and today I want to do a little shoe review for you. I ordered some Yeezy 350 Boost replicas off of DHgate and I just wanted to give you guys a little rundown and give you my first impression of what I think of them. So here they are. I went with the Oxford Tan. It was between these and the Pirate Blacks, but I opted for these just because I already have a ton of black shoes and figured I needed to throw a little tan into the mix. Now I'm no Yeezy expert by any means, but my first impression of these shoes is that I really liked them. They looked pretty true to the originals to me. I've watched a bunch of YouTube reviews on different replicas and a lot of the problem points in other shoes, these don't seem to have. There's a couple little things that would be different than the originals, but honestly, they're so small and unless you're really looking for them, you can't really tell. So let me walk you through exactly what I'm talking about here. So let's start off with the pattern of the shoe. Uh, give you a little close up here. As many of you guys know, it's supposed to kind of swoop up into the pull tab rather than just straight across, and it seems to be doing that, so that looks pretty good to me. Um, I like the Oxford Tans also because there's not a lot of contrast in the pattern compared to the other colorways, which just allows a little more room for error and people are not going to see mistakes quite as easily, but honestly, I don't really see any mistakes as far as the pattern is concerned. Moving on to the pull tabs, I've heard a lot of people have problems with these just being stitched too close to the actual shoe, like more compressed like that, so you can't really get a finger behind there. But as you can see, these do not have that problem. I have plenty of room to do that. Also, uh, it's the correct distance away from the collar here. A lot of them will be either too low or like right butting against it. So as you can see, these are in the right placement here, as far as I know. Another thing is the amount of dots on the actual pull tab itself. I believe the correct number is six on each side, and these have like six and a half or seven. So they're not exact, but they're pretty close. And on the Oxford Tans, the contrast isn't nearly as severe, so you wouldn't really notice unless you're really nitpicking and getting up close, which most times nobody's gonna do. Moving around to the interior suede patch here, um, the suede feels pretty nice. The embossed logo right here is pretty centered on there and it seems to be the right size. If I were to be nitpicky, I would say on the originals that they're a little more embossed, like a little more pronounced. This is kind of more subtle, but there, you can still see plenty of the detail and it's not too far off from the original. Here's the other side with the Yeezy. You could notice it a little bit more on this side that it's not quite as embossed as maybe the originals might be, but overall, I think they look really good. If you flip them over to the bottom, you can see this boost material right here. I've seen in a lot of other reviews that this is actually kind of hard. It's not soft at all like it's supposed to be, but that's not the case for these. These are actually pretty soft and they feel really comfortable when you have them on too, so that's always a plus. Jumping into a little bit more detail, I know they have these kind of boost freckles, little clusters of little tiny dots. Uh, I'm not sure how many are supposed to be on the originals. I think it's like seven and these are nine, so not quite right, but I'll give you guys a little close-up shot of what those look like. Moving on to the interior of the shoe, I'm gonna show you guys the uh, insoles here. So if I were to be critical on these shoes, I'd say this is its biggest downfall. These definitely feel really chintzy. I don't know what the originals feel like, but I would hope that they are a little, um, little more padded than this. These feel pretty cheap, but they look authentic. I mean, it has the all the branding in the correct spots, uh, the detail on the bottom looks pretty decent. They do feel pretty cheap, but if that's the only downfall of these shoes, I'm definitely willing to deal with it. Moving in past the insole, it's supposed to have kind of a tape line down the center, and as you can see, these do have that. The last thing I thought I would touch on are the laces, um, and I think these are actually a little off. They're supposed to be a little lighter, kind of more match the pattern and the bottom of the, the sole here. I think they're just a little too dark, but honestly, unless you're comparing them right next to the originals, no one would probably say anything, nor would I really care if anyone had anything to say about my shoes. So I think that's gonna do it for this review. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with these. I'm super stoked, can't wait to wear them, um, especially for the price. I didn't even tell you guys how much these cost. These were only 50 bucks, 50 bucks. So they're pretty cheap on the replica side of thing. I've seen replicas up to like 160 bucks, which is kind of like why get replicas. 
Um, but yeah, 50 bucks, I was definitely willing to swallow that price, especially for some shoes that resell for freaking $1,000, and you know I'm not gonna spend that much. I would be willing to get the originals if I could cop them on the actual release day for the 200 or whatever dollars it is, but $1,000 resale, you gotta be insane. <laughs> If you guys are interested in grabbing a pair of these for yourself, I will leave a link in the description below of the seller that I bought them from. Last time I checked, he had all the colorways in most sizes, so yeah, check it out. All right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap this video up. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think of these bad boys. If you like this video, hit me with a like, and if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. Until next time, I will catch you guys on the flippity flop. Peace.